Welcome to CCS Quick Tips. For this quick tip, I would like to show how to clean your workspace. The reason why you may want to clean your workspace is because over time, the stability of the workspace where Clip stores everything can start to wear down. If you observe strange behavior with CCS, like menus missing or features not behaving the way they should, or experience stability issues like CCS crashing, then cleaning your workspace may help. One way to clean up the workspace is to use the dash clean command line argument when launching CCS. This will clean up a lot of cache data which may have gotten corrupted. So let's close CCS here. And to add the dash clean option, simply right click on the CCS desktop icon. And in the target field at the end, Add dash clean. Hit apply. Now, if I launch CCS using the desktop icon, it's going to launch it with the dash clean option. Now, note that launching CCS with dash clean will cause the launch time to be a little slower, so it's not recommended to use it every time, but only when needed. So now I've launched TCS, but with the dash clean option, I cleaned out a lot of the, uh, the old existing cached information that was inside the workspace. If the dash clean option didn't help, then the second option is to completely clean the workspace. There are two ways to do this. One is to simply switch your workspace to a new clean folder. You can do that by going to the file menu and select switch workspace other, and then you can specify a new workspace folder if you wish. The other option is to go into the existing workspace folder and delete the dot metadata folder which contains all the workspace data. So let's take a look at our workspace here. So this is the workspace folder and you can see there's this dot metadata folder in here. Deleting this will essentially reset the workspace and restore the environment to the default behavior. You may want to do this if you want to keep the same workspace folder path and name instead of selecting a new workspace folder. Now note that when doing this complete clean, you will lose all custom workspace preferences and any project associations. Now to avoid the hassle of manually setting them again, you can save the existing workspace preferences to a file and import them into the clean workspace. So for example, Say I have a custom setting here for my continuous uh, refresh interval, uh, which I set to 100 milliseconds. By default, the continuous refresh interval is set to 500 milliseconds. So I'm, I changed this uh, setting to 100. Now, if I wanted to preserve that setting in addition to any other custom settings I made, I can simply go to File export and under, under general preferences select next and by making sure this option export all is enabled I'm basically going to save all my uh, pre workspace preferences to a file which I can choose let's call it uh, preferences and I'll put it in this folder uh, backups if I hit finish, it has saved all my preferences to a, a file. Now I can then switch my workspace. Oh, there. Say uh, new. Let's resize this. Now, if I check the workspace preferences, you can see that they've been reset to the default since this is a new workspace. And the default setting for this continuous refresh interval is 500 milliseconds. Now, let's import the saved preferences file. OK. 
and here is my file. If I open it, and then I'm going to import everything. I've now reset the preferences to what was in my previous workspace. I can just confirm. Now I can see that the continuous refresh interval, which I had set in my old workspace um, to 100 milliseconds, has now been applied to my new workspace, in addition to any other uh, preferences, custom preferences that I had set in the old workspace. Now the only thing I have left to do is to simply re-import the projects that were part of my old workspace by using the project import existing CCS Eclipse project option. And now you'll be working with a clean new workspace. Thank you for watching this quick tip and have a good day.